In today's lesson, we study classes and init, which is a built in method. Init basically stands for initialization. In the previous lesson, we wrote a small code in which we defined some data members in a class and made an object of that class and accessed the data members of that class. Here, I have made two classes. For both, I have defined data members and after defining them, after creating object, access them through object. If I look at this program's output, it is showing that age from test 1 is 20, age from test 2 class is 40. By using the test 2 class object, when I access age, data member, it printed 40. Till here was classes creation and object creation. Now we will see what is init method, which we call initialization method. What work is it actually doing? Here, if we look at its definition a bit, that what init method actually does is that all classes have a function called init, which is always executed when the class is being initiated. Whenever a class's object is created, the init method will be called. Basically, this is init we have a constructor named init, which is called during the creation of every class. In the previous class, we saw that if we don't call this method, our program is still executed correctly, like how previously we did an example. Basically, init method is used if we need to pass arguments at the time of object creation. We receive those arguments through the init method in base class or in the class whose object is created. We look at its example. Use the init function to assign values to object properties or other operations that are unnecessary to do when the object is being created. In this line, it is repeating this thing that when object will be created at that time, if any kind of values are important in the class or to pass data members in that class, we will use init method at that time. The code I have written for its example is of those two classes, one class test1, second class test2. In it, the method to define it is same that is def keyword and after that we have underscore twice and if I want to define it, so once underscore, second underscore in it, then again underscore twice and parenthesis and we have defined our scope. Similarly, I have test2 class and in it too, I call the init method or constructor and using it, I assign values to ages data member. Now, when I will execute it, what output will it show? It has generated an error that init takes zero position arguments, but one was given that here the self keyword has to be placed always. Self keyword or self parameter will work like an object in the class or in that function where we are defining it. Data members in that init function. Its alternative in PHP Java language is the this keyword. We are presenting that object through the this function. So, object is a reference variable through which we access data members. This is real use of self. Self will still be passed even if there is no argument or parameter. If I will run my program now, it will show the correct output. If I need to pass some other kind of arguments here, I have A, B. I have two other arguments. I want to pass them in test 1 class. So I pass 10, 20 here. So 20 plus A plus B. Now, if I will run it, what output will it show now? It showed that the age we have is 50. How did it count 50? That 20 plus 10 are the values of A, plus 20, value of B. It did the sum of all these and after sorting it in age, printed it. So the one thing we understood was that the constructor when we are defining an object, if at that time we want to assign a value to any variable, we assign that value to it using the init method. When constructor was called and my object was created, I assigned value with its help to init method.